Do you feel lonely sometimes? You are definitely not alone with those feelings. In fact, in this video, I want to talk about how you can be physically alone, but not feeling lonely and not needing other people to help you with that. I'm going to tell you five ways how you can not feel lonely and be comfortable and confident on your own, in your own company. See, the opposite of loneliness doesn't have to be being surrounded by a lot of people. Haven't you had that already that you're at a party or that you're with friends or that you're in a dinner or at a restaurant surrounded with friends or people around you, but you feel lonely. And also you could be all alone in your house or in your apartment and not feel lonely at all, right? So lonely and being alone are two different things and they don't have to go hand in hand. In fact, the opposite of loneliness is not being with other people, but it is feeling connection. And that is the key. Feeling connected can be in so many different ways, but not necessarily being connected with other people. I have every reason to feel lonely. I travel the world. I go to new places all the time. I go to places where I don't know anything. I don't know anybody. I have many reasons to feel lonely, but I've learned not to feel lonely. In fact, I'm very happy and comfortable and confident on my own. I have learned how to feel that connection, how to be connected in many other ways that is not including people. But don't get me wrong before I continue because it doesn't mean that I don't like to be around friends and I do meet people and I like the social interactions. We are human beings, we like social interactions. So yes, I enjoy that, but I equally like to be on my own and I'm comfortable with that. So first things first, what is the big difference between alone and loneliness? Being alone is something objective. It's a fact. I am sitting physically in this room on my own alone. The feeling of loneliness, that's what it is. It's a feeling. It's an emotion of sadness, of unhappiness, of not belonging, not being understood, not being loved maybe. It's a feeling that can lead to depression, can lead to many negative things. So I don't want to go there. I want to avoid that. So there is definitely a difference and they don't necessarily go and hand in hand. It doesn't mean that if you're alone, you have to be lonely. It doesn't mean that you can't be lonely when you're not alone, but surrounded with people. I help ambitious professionals who are stuck in a life and not fulfilled. So I help them break through and redesign their lives because that's exactly what I have done in my life. And so I love helping. And so all my videos are about confidence, breaking through, changing that mindset. But let's dive back into the lonely, loneliness alone. Wayne Dyer has a beautiful quote, which says, you cannot be lonely if you like the person you are alone with. I repeat, you cannot be lonely if you like the person that you are alone with. And that means get comfortable with being on your own. See, people who feel lonely don't necessarily feel lonely because they are alone but rather because they feel they're not in peace with themselves, because they feel not understood, because they feel they don't belong, because they feel not loved, because they compare themselves with others, because they focus on lack, for example. And in this society where everything is about busyness and social media and social interactions, being alone has this kind of negative connotation, right? because we have to be busy. We have to be with people. We have to feel connected. You scroll down social media and you see all these parties and, and people with people and other people. And it's like, it feels negative. It feels like, oh, I should feel bad and I should feel guilty for being alone. No, you should not. 
you should not. So here are five ways to feel connected and comfortable and comfortable with yourself being on your own. Number one, value others' opinions, but value your own opinion most. What do I mean? It means that we are always surrounded with other people and we love asking other people's opinion. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but we forget to stop and pause and listen to our own inner voice. What's going on inside of you? Listen to your own inner voice. Why? Because the best insights come from within yourself, not from somebody else. That's the first reason. Everything comes from within. You will have more productivity, more insights, more prosperity if you listen more to yourself. Secondly, you are the only person who will be with you for the rest of your life and all of your life. People come and go all the time. You have conversations, you make friends, you lose friends, you win people, you lose people, that's life. But you are with you always and forever. So take that time with yourself. And I love a quote that um, Robin Sharma said, tranquility is the new luxury. Tranquility is the new luxury. Instead of the distractions and the busyness, we should be spending more time with ourselves because of the growth and the self-development that happens when you spend more time with yourself. And I can confirm that Really, I can. But if you don't get this right now, it's okay. Let's jump into number two. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. What I mean is you will be uncomfortable, so you better accept it. When you spend time with yourself and you are on your own, guess what happens? You start thinking and you start feeling. Oh my God. Feeling. We escape feelings. We love being distracted because we don't want to feel. But when you are on your own, that's what happens. You get really uncomfortable because you start feeling, you start pondering over your day and maybe feel guilty and regrets and some things you said and the thoughts come and the feelings of guilt and sadness and unhappiness, all of that can happen. I'm not saying it, it does, and I'm guaranteeing you that if you do it more often, there's a lot of other feelings that are very positive as well. But you start feeling, and you have to become comfortable with that. It's important to feel. Why? Because when you feel pain is when you heal pain. When you have a wound, to heal the wound, you have to feel the wound, right? So feel the pain, feel that discomfort and be okay with that. I have a lot of clients like, oh, I have a really sad day today. Okay, that's okay, accept it. I have sad days, I have bad days, I have good days, I have happy days, so what? Whatever day you have, whatever feeling you have, accept it. But what we tend to do is like, oh no, oh no, I'm sad, that's not good, that's negative, I can't be, I can't be. Just accept being uncomfortable and listen to your thoughts and your feelings, what's going on inside of you. Really observe yourself, your thoughts and your feelings and you will grow and learn so much about that. Being with yourself is just a path of growth. You will be more comfortable with yourself and the more comfortable you are with yourself, the more comfortable and confident you are with others and outside of yourself. Number three, stop comparing yourself to other people and think that you need to be like all these other people, that you need other people to fill that void. No. You see, I get it. With social media, with all the distractions, with everything that we see every day, we're confronted with that. We, we, we see all these beautiful relationships and pictures and happiness and and social media is actually there to connect us with each other, but the reality is it's disconnecting us from reality. Because everything that you see, is that real? Is that true? No, we all have bad days, but we hide our mess and we show our best. That's what we do on social media, me too. I'm not gonna send 
pictures or whatnot, or then I look bad or look, look sick or whatnot. No, we don't do that. But realize that instead of comparing yourself, don't compare yourself with somebody else, but focus on your strength, your uniqueness, focus on you. Do you want to live a life without regrets? Do you want to live a life where you did what you wanted? Or do you want to live a life looking back and thinking, oh, I was pleasing all these other people. I lived the life of somebody else. No, live your own life. Look at yourself, look in the mirror and look at your strengths and your uniqueness. So stop comparing yourself to other people. Look at yourself. Number four, shift your focus, refocus, because you shift your focus, you will shift your energy. What do I mean? I mean that if we keep thinking, oh, I'm so lonely. Oh, I'm so lonely. Oh, I'm so, you see how my shoulders go down and like, oh, I'm really feeling sad and I'm really not happy and I'm really lonely. If you do that, shift your mind refocus put your attention on your attention on something else put your attention on the things that you are grateful for that's the most simple easy trick be grateful for what you have be grateful for the people that you have around you be grateful just refocus and instead of focusing on what you don't have oh i'm lonely i don't have anybody focus on what you do have you do have people around you. You do have things going on well. You do have great stuff. I'm sure just go inside yourself, be quiet with yourself and find those things. Be grateful for what you do have. Feel that abundance and not the lack. The more you focus on the lack, the more your energy goes there and the more sad you will feel. The more you focus on abundance and on the things that you do have, the better you will feel. It's that simple. And number five, connect. Connect in other ways that is not people. And that's really easy. Connect with nature, go for a walk. Even if you're working all day, every day, go around the block, go outside. There's this serotonin, this good feel hormone that will you know, really boost you if you just connect with nature, if you are outside and in the open air. Connect with music. Maybe you love some music. Connect with an, playing an instrument. Connect with animals, a dog, a cat. Connect, 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 connect. Yes, you can seek out other people. Yes, you can connect online with other people. Yes, you can do all that, but try to also feel comfortable being on your own and connecting with yourself in all of these ways. Be comfortable and be more confident with yourself. I learned how to do it and I learned to listen to myself and I'm able to live the life that I want just because I'm comfortable on my own. I listen to myself. I'm equally comfortable with other people, but I'm so grateful for the growth that I have in me because I spend more time with myself and I am indulging in the luxury of tranquility. So I want you to comment below. What was your biggest takeaway? What did you like? Do you feel lonely sometimes and what will you do? Or in what occasions do you feel lonely? I want to know from you, so please comment below. Please, please, please comment below. I love reading your comments. And if you have questions about being alone or loneliness, do you want me to make more videos about that? please let me know. I look forward to your comments and make sure you watch the next video and I'll see you in the next video.